sometimes in our lives we experience a um, lot of things that we never expected. Sometimes those things, uh, yes, uh, scare us. And, and sometimes we are not really prepared to what those things are, are for us. In today's Gospel, we had a story after Jesus Christ's resurrection that Jesus Christ um, appeared to, to the disciples, um, not to the breaking of the bread. And when, they, when they were talking about what's going on, Jesus Christ stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were terrified. Who is talking to us? He said, Lost. He was the Lord. And because the Lord was with them, he showed to them his hands and his feet, and he said, I am myself. Why do you so incredulous? Sometimes in our lives we can be like that. The Lord is there for us in those circumstances when we are terrified, when we are uh, overwhelming, when we are distressed, when we are stressful. Whatever those circumstances in our lives are, or fear, or anything, or worry about COVID 19, the pandemic, whatever those things are, the Lord always reminds us that He wants to be with His people, to protect us, to save us, and to bring peace to our hearts. That peace that comes through the heart of Jesus Christ, who helps us to find in Him the faith and the hope that if we are with Christ, nothing and no one can separate us from Christ. The question is, how many times in our lives do we need this? Sometimes you might have faith, sometimes you might be, I don't know, terrified. But it's the good news that the Lord, at this time of Easter, has manifest to all believers, to all people, and said to us, life is not easy. We have those ups and downs, all those challenges, whatever it might be, sometimes health issues, uh, personal issues, drugs, addictions, uh, sometimes uh, what's, going on around, what's going on around us, those uh, situations. But our faith in Christ is the one who helps us to really calm down and also ask Jesus Christ to comfort our hearts. To ask the Lord to Lord, I know it's not easy. I'm human, I'm not perfect. Uh, I make mistakes. Sometimes I'm a sinful person, but I believe that it is to you and to your loving kindness and love that all my weaknesses, all my fears, all my imperfections can be transformed into the Divine Presence. That's what happened to the, to the Apostle. They were talking about what's going on with the breaking of the bread. But they realized that was Jesus Christ. The Gospel of Luke presents to us this event of the Eucharist after Christ's resurrection. That in the Holy Eucharist, the Lord is there exactly to do that, to gather us together as His people, that we came to this door, whatever you carry in your back. Sometimes I had a rough week, sometimes I had a difficult issue with my co-workers, I didn't get along with my husband, I, whatever those things are. And we came before the Lord, and the Lord said to you, Peace be with you, what are you worried for? I am here with you. Have you prepared this holy banquet? This holy Eucharist. Exactly to do that. To bring to your heart, to your minds, my peace, my love, and my kindness. But in order to see that, we have to accept it and be open to His grace and His presence. In the second reading to God, John said, My children, I write this to you that you may not commit sins, but anyone does, we have the okay. Yes. Who 
with your faith, Jesus Christ, we can make mistakes every single day. We have our moments, we have sometimes our personalities, we have lost our temper, whatever those things are. But John said, if we come before the Lord with an open heart and recognize that we are sinners, that we are men and women seeking God's grace in our lives, He will help us to overcome those weaknesses, those fears, those sinfulness, that He will raise you up as a member of this community and elevate us to this holy altar. That's what happens. That is exactly what happens. Humanity and divinity comes together. What we need to do is to say, Lord, my prayers to you, to this Holy Eucharist, is that you can help me and teach me how to be more patient, how to be more kind, how to really be more like you. This is who we are. I know it's a long journey to walk, but it's worth it and it's needed. Because without Christ, we cannot do this. Without Christ, we cannot change our hearts. Without Christ, we cannot be kind to one another when we don't know how to do it. Without Christ, we cannot see Christ in one another when we are so focused about. Me, me, me. This is what I wanted. Eh? This is who I am. That's what happened to the, to the apostle. They were going to see Jesus Christ, and because of that, they did all these accounts. No, it's me. Look at me. I'm Jesus. You see this? And sometimes out there, the Lord is there to you. I'm here. I'm the advocate and the mediator between you and God. I came to be with you, to save you, to walk with you, to protect you, to care for you, to plant the seed of love and faith in your heart. But we had to be recipients. We had to ask for those blessings. We had to ask Jesus Christ to help us to keep His words in our lives and to follow His commandments. I know it's, 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 it's a long journey, but it's, it's worthy. It's worthy. And I encourage you and also as a community to pray for that. Pray for our community. Pray for you. Pray for your family. Pray for your spouses. Pray for, for me as a priest. Pray for the church. Pray for our country. Because there's so much darkness out there. So much trouble out there. So much lacking of, of anger out there. So much evil out there. But remember, who are the ones who conquer that? The ones who believe in Jesus Christ and accepted His message in our lives. The question is, do you believe that? Who is Jesus Christ for you? How many times when we are afraid or worry do we come to Jesus Christ as for help? That is faith. That is trust. That is love. But we have to do it and walk with Him every single day. Happy are those who believe in Jesus and trust Him day and night because no one can separate us from Him. Because in Him we have life. In Him there is no fear. In Him there is no doubt. In Him there is no darkness. Because He advocates for you and for me. And intercedes for you and for me. And brings us His peace and love to our hearts. That we'll be able to receive God's grace. And illuminate our hearts and our minds. And say, I know, no matter what difficult is in my life. With Christ, I can do it. With Christ, I can really find the victory of these situations. Yes, I'm lying to you. Otherwise, I will be here as a priest. I cannot be a priest 
if I don't trust in Jesus Christ. And as the Lord, help me how to be a priest. Help me how to be with my people. Help me how to listen to my people and pray with them and love them. The same thing with you. You cannot be a Christian wife and husband in a community if Christ is not there. Because He is the source of life, the source of love, of forgiveness, of kindness. And we have to come to Him because sometimes our hearts are not there yet. But soon or later we get there. This is a beautiful time. Easter is a time of joy. It's a time of happiness because Christ has conquered death and give us life in His name. Let us pray for that and ask the Lord to help us to really do amazing things in our lives. And whatever we do, whatever we say, always comes in Jesus Christ, not for us. Lady, that last thing, whatever you worry in your heart, whatever bothers you right now, whatever you're longing for, I encourage you, when you can't receive the Holy Eucharist, ask Jesus Christ exactly what your needs are. He's there for you. To listen to you, to bless you, and to put into your heart all what your needs are. And we all together we rejoice in His presence and say, Thank you, Jesus Christ, because you give me the courage and give me the strength and give me the wisdom how to be your friend in Christ, son and daughter out there.